This is part two. I don't have much space. I had to clear some, so I'll make this even quicker than I intended. So just like with having children, they teach you a whole nother level of love, which if that love is first practiced in the union, then you'll have a child in the reflection of that love. So, um, yeah, <laughs> uh, that's when I said the love that we have for a partner or for children in our lives, you know, whether they're nieces and nephews or you know, uh, God children or whatever the case may be. If you're like me and you don't have children yet, um, that love that you have for your spouse and just for anyone in your life, it has to extend beyond the boundaries of your household to each other. So again, I'm speaking personally among the children of Elohim. And then you're an example of that love to those in the world. And those in the world that may resonate with what they're witnessing may then begin to follow suit and practice. But also it goes beyond the bounds of your home to your neighbor. If you're blessed to have a good enough connection with your neighbor, it should be able to extend to the boundary of your neighbor as well. So, um... You know, we have a lot of instances where we're forgiven our consorts or just our loved ones and those that we keep close to us for many, many offenses, many things that they've done or said to hurt us, um, many hurtful reactions, many hurtful responses, and from having to forgive my consort, you know, and from him having to forgive me, it's now teaching me how to be able to be that way with other people. You know, I wouldn't have been, and, and that's where the bias comes in because then we pick and choose who we give this love to. Nature doesn't do that. So if we're to be an example and the image of the creator, we have to embody that and give that love even unto our cousins, you know. So that's a very important lesson that being in a union, learning a higher level of love has taught 